So we have the Nine of Pentacles. And then you have the Star. So this could be you. This could be someone that you're attached to, someone that you have detached from. This could be someone who wants to come towards you, different people that they're attached to, different people that they have detached from. This is masculine and feminine energy, past, present, or near future. So you have to take what resonates and just leave what doesn't. So you could be single. But it's like you're someone that um, have took out the time to just focus on you in this time. You've separated yourself from something, but you still have faith. You still have hope for the future. You've took out the time to heal, rejuvenate yourself. And um, this was unexpectedly. Yeah, you're manifesting with the magician being here. You could be stepping into your creative power. Um, but you've built a lot of self-confidence within you. You have the world. And then you have the Eight of Swords. So yeah, now that you have ended something out, another person's feel trapped. They feel stuck. They feel like you're someone that have completed something or accomplished something, and they can't. They just feel trapped. This is someone who doubts their self. They overthink different things. And they keep their self restricted. This could be a mental prison that they're in. Now, somebody could have thought that they had you in this energy in the Eight of Swords, but they're realizing it's them. You have the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody is keeping their self restricted, slowed down, and um, you chose to take like... um another approach to do something. But this is all, also somebody who um, depended on you. They wanted you to feel like you were someone that res was responsible for them, but they were causing a delay. And whatever energy that you were in, like around that person, you could have felt stuck. You could have doubted yourself. You could have felt powerless. They're in this energy and you're not. You're being very patient with yourself. And they feel like whoever this person is, they just feel like things come easy for you and it's hard for them because they they they're keeping their self in like a mental prison, having self-doubt. This is someone who does not have any self-confidence. They don't believe in their self. And it's like, they it, it appears that this person is trapped, but they just don't want to get out. It's like they can get out of this Eight of Swords energy, but they don't want to. This is someone who does not like um, or want to be patient with their self. Take out the time to focus on their self, rejuvenate their self, heal. They don't want to do any of those things. So they're keeping their self in the Eight of Swords. Just feeling trapped. And you have the Ace of Cups. And then you have the strength. King of Pentacles. And then you have the Ace of Swords. So this could be new love that's coming towards you.
Now, you could have met this person when they were younger, but now that person is older, they've matured, and they've either um, found out some type of truth and clarity, or they have some type of... Um, A whole new way of thinking than what they did in the past they could want to speak truth and clarity to you but this person is someone who has built up a lot of confidence and strength and they're wanting to come towards you now they got slowed down in the past because somebody could have wanted that person to be stuck or feel stuck Yeah, that person was doing a lot of self-reflecting. Um, but they've learned how to set boundaries with whatever was keeping them stuck. We have the Empress and they have the Ten of Wands. You have the Nine of Cups. Yeah, this person has been working very hard to um do work on their self you have the knight of swords you have the seven of pentacles yeah, this is someone who have been planning to come towards you. But they want to do it in a clever way. So if you have not heard from this person, they definitely plan to reach out with the Six of Cups. They've been watching you, the Page of Swords. It's like they could have watched you work very hard. You went from the Nine of Pentacles to the Empress. And they feel like everything has turned out good for you. You have bad health. And you have great fortune. Mature woman and change. So this person have watched you go through um, a drastic transformation. Like, as I say, you have evolved from the Nine of Pentacles to the Empress. Now, whatever this bad health is, if this, this is someone who wanted to make it seem like you were someone that was crazy, you were in bad health physically, um or you were on drugs or something like that, it's like they're watching you in this great fortune energy. They feel like you're someone that is blessed. They've only watched you evolve. So this could be someone that wanted to keep that person trapped, um, you know, in the energy where they would doubt their self or just doubt coming towards you to offer you this Ace of Cups. So as they have sat back and watched you for a long time with the Page of Swords, they've evolved. This person have matured. They've made a lot of changes. And they view you as their wish fulfillment. If somebody was trying to get inside of this person's head with thoughts being here, to get this person to think something about you that was not true, and it's like whatever people say, try to project onto you, um, negativity uh, they try to create around you, it's not going to stop any blessings from coming towards you. They're going to watch you be blessed. They're going to watch you make drastic changes. They're going to watch you evolve. Yeah. This person feels like whatever it is that you do, is um something that is authentic they could just view you as someone that is very authentic very real very honest 
very trustworthy. But somebody wanted them to think otherwise. And they could feel like that person was trying to keep them like in bad health. Mentally unstable. Yeah, they're viewing you as this official person and they view you as someone that works very hard. Whatever you do for work, you take it serious. Yeah, this is someone who respects you and they hold you in high honor. Whatever you're doing, somebody just did not expect this. They're shocked. This could be the person that felt like they would be able to get inside of this person's head and just have them in a mental prison. You have social media and you have heartbreak so whoever this person is they're spying they're watching you and they're hurt they're disappointed they're disappointed because they could not make that person believe something about you that was not true yeah it made that person more attracted to you Yeah, you have secret crush and reconciliation. So um, if you are attached to this person in the past and whoever this energy is that tried to get inside of their head, slowed them down where they could have um, disconnected from you or some type of way you and that person stopped communicating. This person wants to reconcile with you. This is someone who misses you. With reconciliation and secret crush. You have faded meeting. So this is an encounter. Whatever encounter that you had in the past with that person, it was meant to be. But this is someone that's a part of your destiny. This is someone that you're supposed to encounter. Yeah, but things needed to be released. That person needed to release different things. Let go of different things. And this could be why they disconnected from you, ghosted you. Somebody could have needed to separate from someone, like a relationship, the breakup being here. You have wedding. You have grass is greener. Yeah, somebody definitely... Somebody definitely just uh, made a decision to walk away from another person because they realized they deserve better. They realized they were not happy. And they feel like you're the one for them. Whoever the person is that they were attached to, this person had hidden motives. This person was covering up a lot of things. Um, they didn't know that person was wearing a mask. And they definitely did not know this was a compulsive liar. And they were just trying to keep that person like trapped. And they felt like by doing that, they would be able to keep that person physically and emotionally distant from you. They were overwhelmed that person mentally. So at the time you were in communication with that person, connected to that person, it was just not the right time. Yeah, so there was a lot of patience that was needed. And everything happens in divine order. So something, um, things needed to be, go at a certain flow. We have honeymoon. And then you have intimacy. 
So this person definitely wants to like get away with you. They want to have an intimate moment with you or they just want to share intimate intimacy with you. This could be sexual intimacy, chemistry, emotional intimacy. You have gambling. And you have love spell. Yeah, whoever the person that they were attached to, this eight of swords, this could be a love spell. Somebody was trying to keep another person's stuff under. And um, while they were attached to this person, they could have dealt with different addictions. They were constantly like gambling, going back and forth in the two of pentacles, constantly going through ups and downs, problems. And um, they weren't good with finances. It's like they could not hold on to anything, especially if someone was um, trying to keep them stuck because they wanted that person to continue to give to them or make that person feel as if they love them. If they could get that person to think that they were in love with them, they love them. This will keep that person in a, a self-made prison. And they would doubt the fact that um, they needed to make the right decision to just focus on their self. Pour this Ace of Cups into their self. And end out a cycle with whoever this person is. <laughs> 